Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. As we're approaching the end of the year, uh, here at TransWest, we're offering some great end of the year closeout deals on some trailers. And I wanted to show you one of those trailers that we are closing out so you can get some big savings on these trailers. There's only a few of them left, so you better hurry up and jump on them before they are gone or those savings are gone. And we'll have to look at new, uh, newer uh, current model year trailers. So behind me is a 2020 Cimarron Lone Star Stock Combo. These stock combo trailers over the years have gained such popularity and the big reason why is just their versatility of them. Because you can, you can load horses, you can hold li haul livestock, you can haul any type of toys that you want as well. It's basically kind of like a toy hauler as well. We have a front dressing room on here so you can keep your tack nice and secure. You can lock your tack door. You got somewhere if you want to throw a mattress in, get out of the weather, spend the night, you can. So these stock combos, like I said, have become so popular over the last couple years. So again, this is a 2020. This is a 20 foot stock combo that we're going to look at right here. This is actually a slant wall front tack room. We can do some of the straight wall tack rooms, but there's a lot of different things and, and different options and ways we can set these trailers up. But let's take a walk through this trailer. Uh, that way you can kind of see how it's equipped and see if it's something that you want to save a little bit of money and try to get this spot before the end of the year. So on this, you just have your standard single leg manual crank jack. The cool thing over here too, is you've got a spot for your handle to actually store. And on top of that, this will double as a lug wrench for you. So you always have a lug wrench on board for this trailer if you ever do need to change a spare tire. Speaking of the spare tire, I want you to notice, so on these on these Cimarron's, the standard now is on, all these trailers are equipped with aluminum wheels. So that's something they started a couple years ago. And not only is the aluminum wheel standard, but sometimes some manufacturers will go ahead and just put a steel wheel on for your spare. So they cut a little bit of cost there. Not on Cimarron, you get five, if it's a tandem axle, you'll get the five standard aluminum wheels. Obviously, you get into a triple axle, you'll get seven. I mean, so they don't they don't skimp there and, and put a steel wheel on these trailers. As we get to this tack room, like I mentioned, this is a slant wall. So this is a three foot short wall on this one with a four foot offset. So this long wall that we're looking at right now is seven foot. And as you can see, swing out saddle rack. So it's really, really easy to be getting saddles in and out of this trailer. You're not having to lug saddles in and out. And it's very, very easy to use. It's on a gas shock. All you have to do is just push it in and it'll swing back in. Or when you pull it out, as you can see, that gas shock just slowly allows it to swing out. These are also adjustable, so you can move them up and down. You can add more. You can remove some if you want to. Uh, but just a really nice feature that is on this trailer right here. As we get into this tack room, you'll notice a couple things. You know, we went ahead and we carpeted this entire partition wall. We put hooks high and low for you. That way, you know, your, your tack isn't rubbing against that wall, scuffing it up. And then over here on the short wall, we even put another set of hooks for you and put carpet behind that one as well. Up in the nose here, you've got windows up in the gooseneck. So if you do decide to throw a mattress up here, some bed rolls, you know, you can create a cross breeze through here and it'll actually keep this trailer nice and cool. Um, we'll get into the insulated roof as we get back into the stall area, but you know, this is something, like I said, I mean, it's so versatile. You can take this up to hunting camp. Uh, if you need to spend a night, if you're out gathering cows or if you're at a jackpot or something like that and you want to spend a night, throw a mattress up here, your bedroll, and you're good to go. You also have a 12 inch boot box down here. So just kind of, it's kind of nice from the standpoint of just keeping track of those little miscellaneous items that can roll around in your tack room. Um, just kind of keeps them nice and secure in transit. And also works really well as a step when you jump up into this gooseneck. And then you've got a nice big Optibrite LED light in here. Those guys put off a ton of light. That's an upgrade we really like to do on our Cimarron's.
Now I want you to notice this door opening. So like I had, like I mentioned, this is a swing out saddle rack. So in order to do the swing out saddle rack, we upgrade to a 42 inch wide door. This bigger door is just really nice from the standpoint of getting in and out. Now granted, the, the saddle rack is swung in right now, but it can be in, you can have all your saddles on there. There is so much room getting in and out. Also, when this is swung out, you still have room to get past. A lot of manufacturers will, will have a, a smaller door right here. So potential of your saddles hitting these door frames when you swing it out. And then it either has to be in for you to even get in the tack room or you got to kind of shuffle past all this. And it's not, not very easy. So by having this 42 inch wide door, you've got a really nice opening. You can still jump in and out of this trailer very, very easy. And on that tack door, you've got a swing out four tier blanket pole rack on here it's on a gas shock as well so it's nice and easy to get to some of those items and then a brush tray on the door again just more miscellaneous items that can float around that's a good place to store those now one thing that Cimarron does is on their tack doors they have the strongest tack doors out there I mean this is massive framing when you look at this door if we didn't have this this uh, sheet out here, this white sheet, this finished product, if you would look at it, I mean, all this is framing. So from the edge of this door to the edge of that window, that is all framework. So it is big, it's heavy duty, it's gonna hold up. This is made at the factory. So nice, solid uh, seal to it. You also have welded hinges with grease certs on there. So really easy to maintain. But on these trailers, you know, we're gonna talk a little bit more about it when we get in the stall area, but you know, these are items, this tack door, you're gonna use this tack door every time you use this trailer more than likely. So the quality is really gonna show up over time. You know, this tack door is gonna hold up for you. I mean, it is extremely stout. We talk about these welded hinges with grease certs. We actually have pictures of a three horse gooseneck trailer with the rear 50-50 doors open we have a floor jack underneath one of those doors picking the back end of the trailer up and it didn't tweak that door or those hinges at all. That's how stout these doors are and those welded hinges with greasers. Now as we kind of start kind of working towards the back of the trailer and the stock area, there's a couple things I want to point out. First thing is, is let's start from the ground and go up. So there's our aluminum wheels that it comes standard with. And then also you'll notice the green tabs on these tires. So that green tab means that these tires are nitrogen filled, which is gonna make sure that we're not having major fluctuations in air pressure. Um, they use these actually on airliners. You know, think about airplanes on the temperature difference, the altitude difference that they go to. It's very, very dramatic, but they use nitrogen filled tires so we don't have major fluctuations in PSI levels. That means the tire can get hot, it can cause blowouts. That nitrogen field, boy, just makes them run nice and cool and nice and even as far as a PSI level. But one thing that Cimarron does, the vendor that they use, Lion's Head, is they stand behind these. So you have a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires. If you catch a nail out here as we're driving around and it can't be patched, we send in the codes to Lion's Head, they send us a new tire, no questions asked. So they really stand behind the product. The other thing, is this wheel well. So this fender right here is actually bolt on, so it's not a weld on. So if something does happen to where we damage this, you know, you can actually replace it very, very easy. Um, so you're not gonna have as much as far as a labor uh, cost as a weld on. So it'll be a lot easier, save you a lot more money if you are having to make that change and swap one of those out. You've got an exterior tie rail on this trailer. That is on both sides of this trailer, so driver's side and passenger side. And then you have two air gaps, and then there is a track there. You might say, you know, hey CJ, this, this trailer right here, you know, doesn't have plexiglass. And you might say, CJ, I must ask you a question. Can I add plexiglass to this trailer? Yes, you can. There's already a track built in there. Cimarron does that. So we can get you the plexiglass, you know, you could do it after the fact as well. You just measure from about right here, dead center forward, wherever they have these notches on these sides, it's four foot forward. So 
four foot four foot increments are really easy to handle um, I, I don't really like the big long ones they just have the potential of breaking when you're removing or putting them in um, just because of the angle and putting maybe a little bit of stress on that plastic so four foot sections are really easy to main you know use for this um, you, you'll probably end up with one kind of odd size but then as you put them in and remove them you know a good roll of masking tape and a sharpie that way you know driver side lower driver side upper passenger side upper passenger side lower you just tape them together and write that on there so you know exactly where those go when you go to put them in and you're not trying to put together a puzzle almost so as we get back here to the stock area i've got the the rear gate open so it is a single solid rear rear gate on this on these slant wall setups we kind of prefer and most of our customers like the solid gate um, some people do like a slider uh, we would just have to build it for you that way um, we do have other trailers either on hand or on order so there's a lot of different options but you also have the ability to put plexiglass in this rear gate as well which is actually a really good thing because at the back of these trailers where wind and just dirt can swirl back here and it'll actually suck into the trailer so dust is a big thing i mean let's try to keep that dust away from our animals potential of getting them sick so if it swirls back here it's sucking into the trailer but you can close that off by putting some plexiglass in there as well so you can see the slant wall as far as the partition wall up here goes um, and what we've done is, is a lot of times, you know, on our straight walls, we'll just do a, a center cut gate that goes straight across this trailer. But because this one is a slant wall, we opted to match it with a slant center cut gate. So this front stall up here is actually six foot six. So on our, on our horse trailers, our standard stall size as far as our drop windows goes 39 inches so six foot six you know that'd be two drop windows on kind of a standard slant load horse trailer so in this front section here you can easily get you know two horses even saddled and they can be pretty comfortable in this front front section obviously depending on horse size will kind of play into that but again just a nice nice size as far as that goes um, you know this trailer here a lot of people ask well how many head can I get on there you can get four head very comfortably in this trailer two up here two in this back stall uh, if you need to squeeze a fifth one on you stack them right you can maybe squeeze a sixth on it's gonna be a little bit tight but you can you can um, you know manipulate that a little bit by opening up your center cut gate and then kind of cramming them together a little bit more but also I wanna, want you to notice that there is an AR anti-rattle latch for this center cut gate when it goes and shuts. You know, this thing isn't gonna be bouncing around making all kinds of noise. So those, those AR latches or the anti-rattle latches are really nice back here in the stall area, not making a lot of noxious noise for animals to listen to. So I kind of wanted to, I, you know, I mentioned up front kind of about the structure and how these trailers are made. So this will give you a good idea. So what I'm standing on is by far the best in the industry so this is a 12 inch deck it's double tongue and groove locks into place four inch centers there's a v truss in the middle of those so imagine hoof size of a horse any type of cow you know you are standing on a support beam wherever you are on this floor i mean it is stout there is not a better floor out there so we start off with a better floor than everybody else and then these upright posts are more of a square. So this square that Cimarron uses for their upright post, it has the same amount of aluminum as these bows on the roof. So these bows on the roof are what a lot of the competitors use, or a C channel or a hat channel. But this right here is what a lot of the competitors use on their upright posts. So if you take a 20 foot stick of that and you wobble it in your hand, it will wobble like a noodle all the way down. We take a 20 foot stick of this, it's like a pencil. It's one fluid motion. So best floor in the market, strongest upright post. And then we're gonna finish it off with Cimarron's insulated roof. So this is standard on every single Cimarron, doesn't matter what it is. So that is a half inch thick, reinforced R3 thermal level roof that 
you know, we have a couple little trailers, I think, left. I think we got one or two maybe um, that we're closing out as well. That we did have a hailstorm here kind of late August. And so those are aluminum sheeted roofs. So they do have dings in the roof on some of those. Not on the Cimarron's. Cimarron's will take substantial hail. I mean, I can walk on this roof and it will not dent it. So again, what did we just save you in the long term of owning this trailer? So return on investment. You know, we talked about the wheel wells, swapping those out because they're both on. Same thing on these roofs, you know. This trailer right here, if you come back in from a trade-in standpoint, is going to have more value because more than likely we're not going to have hail. Uh, we have had hail here quite a bit in Colorado the last couple of years. And time and time again, I always tell everybody, I need a picture of the roof. We need to see if it's got hail. And a lot of the trailers that come in on trade do have hail on the roof with that aluminum sheeted, uh, the, the aluminum sheeting compared to the insulated. So the other thing it does is, is yes, you have all that strength and that, those benefits, but it keeps the stall area cooler, about 20% compared to those aluminum sheeted roofs. So now we've actually got our animals more comfortable because they're cooler in these, in these trailers because of that insulated roof. And then we put two-way roof vents in here. We can manipulate some airflow in here, more of those Optibright LED lights. And then between the air gaps on both sides of this trailer, we have this interior tie rail as well, which is really nice because if you, if you do opt to put some plexiglass in here, you can't tie around these posts. I mean, it's just too tight. So you can tie to this post or this tie rail any, anywhere along, along that. You've got a load light at the back. There is a load light on the right-hand side. So kind of over by the uh, uh, passenger side there about halfway down. Um, individual switches right back here so you can run those again you can run an in interior you can run the back you can run that side all independent and then you've got an escape door at that first stall there as well so if you do need to hop something off um, or if you're just maybe using that front stall for some storage that's kind of nice with that gate you can hop in get those items out of there. Some of those people that maybe will use this as a little bit of a toy hauler too, you know, you can pull in your toys, your razor, your four wheelers, hop off and jump out this, this door as well. One thing I also want to mention is on our Cimarron's, you know, there's, there's a couple exceptions with our living quarters. Um, and then some of our air ride trailers, we're not doing this because we can actually pick the box of the trailer up about two and a half inches. But I want to talk about this gooseneck drop wall. So from this point up here down to here, standard in the industry is 50 inches. Well, that's been that way since about early, early 2000s, maybe you might trickle in about 2005, 2006. It was 47 inches. Well, we saw some trucks get taller at that point, so they changed this to 50 inches. So, over the last couple of years, what has happened again? Trucks have gotten taller and taller. Every manufacturer has gone up in, in bed height. So one thing that we struggle with is bed height as far as clearance goes and keeping this trailer running level. I mean, you will notice, look at a newer truck pulling an old trailer, and one, of, one or two things is happening. Either the trailer's running level and there's about three inches of bed clearance that's eventually gonna ding that bed, or we have about five to six inches of bed clearance, but the trailer's running uphill. So it's running on the back axle, which is not what we wanna do. We want these trailers to run level. You paid for two axles, let's use them. So what we've done is here at TransWest on these standard Cimarron's is we've gone in and put a 50, uh, 53 inch gooseneck drop. So by doing a 53 inch, now we can manipulate our gooseneck coupler height, make sure the trailer's running level, and make sure we have plenty of bed clearance. We usually shoot for anywhere from about eight to maybe nine inches. I mean, we can kind of, you know, if we get into that six inch, it's okay, you'll be okay, but we like to have a little bit more. Um, so that's what we strive for on these using trailers. You know, LQs are a little bit different because they're a lot heavier, uh, a lot more tongue weight to them. We can get away with a little bit less bed clearance. They're not gonna have as much kind of give there as far as the truck and trailer goes. Um, 
But that's something that we've been doing on, on our Cimarron's here. It's actually been a huge benefit uh, because we do. We just continue to see new trucks come in, buying these trailers. You know, this trailer right here, as long as you take care of it, this trailer will last you, you know, 10, 15, 20 years plus if you take care of it. Um, so in that time, more than likely, you're gonna be replacing at least one, maybe two trucks in that time or even more. So we know the truck's gonna change, so we, wanted, we wanted to take those steps so you're ready um, if you do get in that situation where this truck is running good and level with that with this, this Cimarron right here. So we're actually gonna kinda sneak around this whole rig. Stay tuned, Larry's gonna do a video on this hauler. So if you're, if you're in the market for one of these big trucks, we've got them as well. They've got new, they do get some used in. I know the used don't last very long because they usually have a long list of customers waiting for something, but Larry will go through this unit here with you. But I wanna give you the stock number on the Cimarron. Again, this is a year-end closeout. This is the only one we've got in the stock combo Cimarron that's a closeout, so it will not last. It is a 2020 Cimarron Lone Star, 20-foot stock combo, stock number 5N, 200099. And if this isn't exactly what you're looking for and you have some time, you want to build something, we can do this trailer. I mean, we've got some 24 footers similar to it. Um, but if you want to make this a 22 footer, a 21 footer, or, hey, I want to go big. I want a 30 footer. Uh, we can build you whatever you want as long as you got a little bit of time. Um, I know we got a big backlog on, on orders. We've sold a lot of trailers this year. So we're ordering a bunch of trailers. We need them for that spring rush. So we're actually kind of working into that, that April uh, finish date already, but we can kind of work with you and maybe get that moved up a little bit. Um, but give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out with this unit or anything else we have on, on hand, on order, or walking you through custom buildings. A very simple process to do. So give us a call, 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.